Hello beautiful, welcome to today's video. In today's video I have a full face of makeup. I'm gonna use a lot of Huda Beauty's um, products but also some other products in there where I don't have Huda Beauty products to play with. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and keep on watching. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Cosmina and on this uh, channel we are playing with a lot of makeup. We're doing some makeup reviews. We're doing some mystery box unboxing. So if that sounds great to you or sounds something that you're interested in, please don't hesitate to subscribe and click that uh, notification button as well so you can get notified every time I upload. So if you're interested in this channel also, Check that description bar below because I have a giveaway going on all the way until the 15th of May. So check it out. I'm gonna speed through this video. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk a lot about this product, but I'm gonna show you what I'm actually putting on my face. I'm gonna start with Ulta Beauty Poreless Face Primer Mineral Oil Free. This is one of my favorite primers and it is a really good uh, pore filling primer which I really like from Ulta and it has a really nice price as well. So I really like this one. It has a little bit of a gliding silicone feeling just so you know if that bothers you maybe this is not the one for you. But for me it doesn't and I like it because it's very smoothing and it's pore filling and it makes my skin looks much much better. Now, for foundation, I've decided to go with this one. This is Huda Beauty The Stick Foundation. I have mine in Butter Pecan 330N. I have not played with this one too much, but when I did play with it, I, it seemed that I, uh, it doesn't last on my face for a very long time. Unfortunately, this is more like um, four or five hour foundation you know what I mean but it does I like the coverage on it and I like the way it looks for those four or five hours but other than after that it's starting to uh, disappear on my skin I'm gonna apply with a brush look at that that looks absolutely amazing so I love the look of this foundation is a very natural, beautiful, glowing looking uh, foundation. Unfortunately, it does not last. Not on my skin. I do have oily skin, so that may be the problem. I'm going to go with uh, All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer from uh, Urban Decay. And I have mine in Light Neutral. Although this concealer promises to be full coverage, I don't think it's full coverage. Actually, I think this one, it's light coverage. And um, I do like it, but I feel like it's not, it's not true to what it's promising. And if I do, I can build it up because I did build it up before, but I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? Like uh, if you're full coverage, just act the way you're saying you are. This is a new product from Huda Beauty that just jumped into my collection and this is in Banana Bread. This is the Baby Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. Basically this is the setting powder that she used to have but she just put it in a mini size and I'm glad she did because I really wanted to uh, have a look at it. This is a really interesting way of like you know uh, having it. The Packaging, I kind of really enjoy it. God, the scent is real with this one. I know a lot of people complain about the fact that it is heavily scented. And it's the same as the foundation. Um, it's the same scent. It's really strong. But, you know, 
I'm gonna we're gonna get a good hopefully. Uh, that's a very very little disbursement. I don't like that. I want more. I want more. Guys, I got it in my hand because I can't do it with that. So I'm just going to take it and make sure I bake it. Oh my god, the scent. is very heavy fragrance okay so i'm gonna take whatever is left in my hand and throw that on my face but it is setting my face nicely so i like that now let's do eyes i'm gonna do eyes really quick um i want to go with this nude medium from Huda Beauty. It is a really nice one. I had it for a while and I really want to give it a few more tries and play with a little bit more. I'm going to speed through this. I'm gonna quickly do my brow with this Revolution Brow product. For bronzer, we're gonna go with this the uh, Hotel Harris from Tarte. Haven't been, haven't used this in a long time, and I really do enjoy this one. For blush, I'm gonna go with Sugary Cosmetics um, Blush Palette and I want to go with Raspberries. absolutely beautiful I love I love this palette uh, the blush palette from this brand it's an indie brand and it's absolutely beautiful beautiful now for highlighter we're gonna go with Huda Beauty summer highlight palette and I am gonna add this Malibu shade I like this because it gives you a glow. It doesn't seem like you have a streak of, uh, you know what I mean, like a streak of glitter on your face. It's just like a glow from within and it does not emphasize any of my texture because I do have a lot of texture. 
I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of this Huda Beauty uh, Life Liner in extreme black and I'm gonna go with the pencil one. I'm gonna add just a little bit in my waterline. This is a crazy black eyeliner. If you want an eyeliner that is extremely black, this is the way to go, absolutely. Now for lipstick, I'm gonna go with this one. I have not tried this one yet. This is a liquid matte, and this one is in Bombshell. Mm, that is a really nice color, actually. Very beautiful. Now for mascara, I am gonna go with this one. This is from Milk, uh, and this is the Kush Mascara. And there you have it. This is uh, almost a full face of makeup from Huda Beauty. This is suitable for spring and summer look. Very effortless, very easy to do. This is how it looks like. Let me know down below if you like it. Let me know down below if you like this type of quick reviews, quick application on my face um, because it will help me to know to make more like this. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.